All right, so we're getting ready for the Giants versus the Miami Dolphins. We're seeing that the NFL is a Jekyll and Hyde league, and it's kind of cray-cray because um, last week, Buffalo Bills were the hot team that are going to the Super Bowl. Buffalo has gotten it figured out after that ass-ass performance by the Jets. I have had, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, I, I started the stream with the Jacksonville game, and towards the end of it, my stream dropped. My computer, I don't know, you know, my Alienware, I've had this for about two and a half years. Maybe it's time to, to start over. We'll see. Um, but the funny thing is, um, I was having conversations with uh, a Dak Prescott hater who's like, Dak Prescott always makes turnovers at the wrong time. Well, you saw Josh Allen here throw another interception when they had a chance to go ahead and get a first down down the field. You saw Trevor Lawrence have three fumbles. You know, basically this was like, who's going to make mess up the least in this game? Because both of them look, you know, not great. They turned the ball over like crazy. Now, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Let's see if they talk about Trevor Lawrence's three fumbles or the big win or if they talk about Josh Allen failing. But the thing about the NFL is it's a week-to-week -week league. You literally will go from week to week. Miami, last week, going into that game against Buffalo, everybody's like, oh, my God. You know, they got all their games. You know, they got the cold-weather games out of the way early, cold-weather teams out of the way early. You know, they're going to Buffalo now. They're going to blow Buffalo out, and then they're going to be playing in Miami later on. And then they get blown out. So now all of a sudden, oh, well, Miami, maybe they're not. It's Buffalo. They've righted the ship after the Jets. They're great. And all of a sudden now, Buffalo's got a lot of injuries on the defensive side. You know, Josh Allen's rearing his interception, ugly head again. And, you know, this week they look bad. That's the NFL. Cowboys are no different. But this person was sitting here killing Dak, you know, and saying, well, Dak always has, he has turnovers at the wrong time. I don't know that there's any right time to have a turnover because, again, if you end up making a bad play, they score a point on off of it. It's a 14-point swing potentially. And at the moment, the thing that everybody was killing Dak Prescott for was having interceptions. He's got one. There's like 26 quarterbacks that have more than he does. So we've eliminated that. Now we're saying, well, he's not taking putting the team on his shoulder. At the same breath, the guy, somebody was saying, well, we Cooper Rush had the same amount of touchdown passes this time last year as Dak Prescott. So y'all say go in and be more – the Giants game's not on, on – no, oh, okay. Uh, you, you guys say be more like Cooper Rush because in that way, you know, you play within the game, even though Cooper Rush only averaged 21 points a game. And we averaged 30 with Dak. I don't know that playing like Cooper Rush and averaging 21 points a game is going to get us to the Super Bowl. I may be wrong, but right now, the Cowboys are okay. Dak Prescott's okay. Already blocked. Vibrant, who's already blocked? Are you sleeping on Detroit in the same old Lions? Well, the Lions, no. You know what? I, I have to give credit where credit's due. The Lions are beginning to make believers out of me. But, you know, again, the Lions... Like everybody else, they had Seattle come to their house. They lost that game. Right now, we don't know. We don't know who's going to be good or bad. We just don't know. So we'll see when it comes down the stretch. The thing is, is, you know, this game tonight is huge for a multitude of reasons. It's not a season killer. It's not a season killer. But it could be one of those ones that could be a stepping stone for the season. Because, um, I need to log into YouTube TV. Because if you win this game, then you have a chance to um, get a, the tiebreaker over the 49ers. And you have a chance to, um, or excuse me, it's not a chance. You hold destiny in your hands for um, home field advantage. And with us, finally... Seeming to have gotten the team, um, seeming to have finally gotten the team winning at home, that might be important. You know, people will kill the Cowboys and say, well, you know, Dak Prescott, he failed in the 49er game. Well, there was a lot of things that went wrong in that 49er game. And they'll say, oh, you're just making excuses. Well, 
when you think about we played on Monday Night Football in Tampa, had to fly home and then play on a short week going on the road to San Francisco, which means we had to travel on Saturday. When you think that we only had one weapon, one weapon once Tony Pollard went out, as opposed to Brock Purdy, because Brock Purdy is so much better than Dak Prescott. Brock Purdy is better than Dak Prescott with all the weapons that he has. But you take Brock Purdy and put him on a team that doesn't have anybody, and let's see if he's going to be the same guy. Let's see if that he's going to be there in the Super Bowl like Jalen Hurts was last, um, yeah, last year. Take Jalen Hurts' weapons away from him, his offensive line, I guarantee he's not going to the Super Bowl. These things matter. And you guys give too much blame to Dak Prescott and no credit whatsoever when he does something right. It's kind of crazy to me. But then again, it doesn't matter because there's not a quarterback going by what you guys out there say. There's not a quarterback that can live up to your standards. You know, we had uh, Tiki Barber saying, you know, I'd take Daniel Jones 100 times uh, out of 100 over Dak Prescott. Well, how's Danny Dime been doing? People talk about Sam Howell. Sam Howell's got like six interceptions on the season and has been up and down, right? You people say, well, Josh Allen, you know, he's on the cover of Madden. Well, I tell you what, he's throwing interceptions left and right, and he's like literally streaky. Pat Mahomes, I'd say, okay, yeah, I'd take Pat Mahomes, but you're not getting Pat Mahomes. But even Pat Mahomes has had some bad games. So understand. He also played bad last week. Understand. <laughs> Of you're right, Lola, I'm wasting my breath. But understand, there is no quarterback who never has an incompletion, who never has an interception, who never misses a receiver that might be open. That guy does not exist. And you've listened to the media so much that you believe that they do. That you believe that we can just go ahead and put Cooper Rush out there and we're going to the Super Bowl. Okay. Or or the Trey Lance. Because of all the things that Trey Lance, well, he didn't really get a chance. You had every weapon in the world out there. You had an offensive play caller. They have taken Jimmy G. They took the last guy in the draft. They made him successful. And you're telling me that somehow Trey Lance? Trey Lance was injured. That's why he didn't have ha- Come on, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You guys are just crazy. Miami Dolphins are going to beat down the Giants. Probably. Probably, but maybe this is Daniel Jones's, you know, stand because we've been told Daniel Jones, Danny Dimes is better than Dak Prescott. No. And Saquon, everybody's like, well, Saquon wanted to know when he gonna get paid, uh, when, when he can stay on the damn field. Cowboys will beat the 49ers tonight. They just got to prove uh, we'll go to the Super Bowl this year. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I hope that we have that. But um, this is game number two of our all-day stream, okay? Game number two. We've already gone through the Jacksonville Jaguars giving it all to the uh, Buffalo Bills. And now we're going to watch the Giants. This this, this might be my opportunity to take a nap because I think the Giants are going to be ass-ass. So, oh, I got to make sure I put my money on my Cowboys. Okay, so we've got. I don't know if to put on the third. Anyway, where's the Giants? Eh? Look, you can't even find the Giants game. Giants Dolphins. Here we go. All right, so we've got Baltimore Pittsburgh on this one. Okay, so we can change this one up to a different one because we got Baltimore Pittsburgh there. We got Texans Falcons right there. That was what's on Fox. Yeah. Oh no, that's cool. Um, just see what yeah, else yeah. is on. Yeah, we, we, we can see how good Isaac Harold's team is. Uh, yeah, well, Eastside Harold, yeah, yeah, he I mean, was they, in they here earlier. Last week, I thought, I think. He was in here earlier, so we're going to have 